Today we are in Columbus, Ohio at a very special address. This here is 1334 Livingston Avenue, Columbus, Ohio. This is the home of race car driver and legendary flying ace, Eddie Rickenbacker. Let's take a look around. Though designated as a National Historic Landmark, Rickenbacker's boyhood home here in Columbus is completely unrehabbed. The inside is completely locked up and all the windows have been painted over. And though it remains in a relatively depressed neighborhood of Columbus, Ohio, that does not detract from the historic significance of this location, nor should it dissuade you from stopping by if you happen to be in the area. We'll go ahead and take a look around the property now, starting back here in the uh, northwest corner, moving around the north side of the property. The house sits right up on a uh, fairly busy street, so I'm sure it's pretty much the same way as it was back when Rickenbacker lived here. As a matter of fact, when we take a look at some of those little signs, we're going to see that there's portions of the yard that are exactly the same as when the amazing flying ace uh, was a young boy. Now Rickenbacker uh, grew up very poor and uh, you know was lucky to be able to get into the US Air Service. There's some images of the home back in the day. And when he got into the Air Service he pretty much had to uh, talk his way into it and uh, it was because of his uh, history with race cars and uh, machines of all types, uh, which he did before World War I, that kind of got him involved in flying. Uh, most of your uh, flyers were uh, from upper class families or aristocrats as they were overseas in, in the case of uh, particularly the Red Baron, who would have been active at the same time as Rickenbacker, but uh, the two never saw uh, combat against each other or against the same squadrons from my understanding. So this sign here shows a little shed in the lower right hand side of the diagram there and I believe this is the exact same little shed that still exists from that photograph. So that's kind of cool. Kind of get an idea of the backyard. I believe that is on a separate piece of property these days though. And this would have been the backyard and that's an alley back there. The backyard that Rickenbacker would have played in as a young boy. Not sure if that house was there at the time or that building was there at the time or not. I believe that's actually a different property as well. So going up to the back of the property here, walking right up to the back door, you can see those windows have been painted over. We can't see inside. Now I can only imagine that the reason that the property was never renovated is probably because of the neighborhood that it's in. And that's kind of sad because this is a National Historic Landmark and a vital piece in my opinion of aviation history and I would recommend any true aviation buff to at least stop by and pay your respects to Mr. Rickenbacker. Hey thanks for joining me today that's all I've got if you enjoyed this video I'd appreciate a thumbs up like maybe stop by the home yourself see you on the next video